All right, everybody. Uh, today we are going to do a calibration curve using Excel with the data that we got from a Beer Lambert Log Lab. So the first thing we're going to do is make a couple columns here in Excel. The first one is going to be concentration, and the second one is going to be absorbance. It's always good to label your columns. So the concentrations that we had, um, they're about 1.5 times 10 to the minus third. So the way we do that in Excel is 1.5 e minus 3. And that's the same thing as 1.5 times 10 to the minus third. Uh, the next one is 3e minus 3, 4.5e minus 3, and 6e minus 3. Those are the concentrations that I worked with. Yours will be a little bit different. Now the absorbance values, again, these are ones that I'm making up. Um, so it's 0 0.215, 0 0.445, 0.6. 627 and 0.856. Okay, so these are the concentrations and absorbance values I have for my known concentration. So let's highlight those and we're going to insert a chart, specifically this kind of scatter chart here. It's a really nice scatter chart. Um, let's relabel it. I'm going to call it the potassium permanganate uh, calibration curve. And another thing I can do here in Excel is I can add axis titles, which is, again, always a good thing. So this axis down here is concentration, units of molarity. And this axis over here is going to be absorbance. And that is a unitless number. All right, good. So I've got a little graph that works out great. Let's put a trend line in here. So we're going to right click on these data points, click on Add Trend Line. And we can see here that it is linear. And if I scroll down a little bit, I've got this nice thing that says display equation on chart. And that's what I want. So that is the equation for the line that goes through those points the best. Thank you. And that's what I need. So for my unknown, I don't have a concentration, but I do have an absorbance. So my absorbance was 0 0.125. What I need to do is take this number and plug it in for y right there and solve the equation. So I can actually do that in Excel. Um, I can say that this cell will be equal to uh, parentheses 0 0.125 minus this number right here because it's being added. So 0 0.0095. Again, I'm just trying to get x by itself on one side of the equation. Divide it by 140.33. And that comes out to 0 0.0008. 2306. And um, that is the concentration of the solution that I diluted. So the original concentration is 10 times more concentrated than that. So 10 times this number gives me that, 0 0.0082. And that is more or less how we go about getting the concentration. Uh, this is a really straightforward exercise. I think you'll use it a lot, both in uh, Chemistry 203 and beyond. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Take care.